Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you, a complete placement solution. Friends, in our today's video, I am going to solve TCS digital exact question, which was asked on 3rd of October, 2020. That means last year. So 2020, the TCS digital question, I am going to solve it here. I'm going to discuss it here. This questions, even you can find it on the Google also. Friends, many YouTube channel I have seen, they will be only doing the difficult problem what was asked in tcs digital and they will demotivate right they will demotivate the student or they will just take out the confidence from them okay so friends it should not be like that whatever questions were asked we should discuss each and every level of the question then only students will be clear okay so these are the level if you prepare of you know this level then you will be easily able to clear the examination so i will be discussing with you today few questions which will have the mixed level of the question which was asked on tcs digital exam 3rd of october okay so question number two question number three question number four okay and in between i will also tell you when the examination will happen how it is planned how you will be able to crack tcs digital examination so friends question number one was asked from the topic simplification okay so if you are aware of cube roots if you are aware of a square root and if you are aware of certs and indices then you will be easily able to solve this question this question is very very easy see you need to get your confidence back friends okay so the previous year questions uh, solving that will definitely give you confidence now so cube root of 27 will be what 3 okay so here we have also uh, you know used board mass so board mass means first we need to take care of the brackets so you can see this is a bracket so first we will solve the content inside the bracket so cube root of 27 will be nothing but 3 because 3 cube is what 27 into 16 square so 16 square i will not multiply i will write 16 into 16 okay and then 2 cube will be nothing but 8 so if i will try to solve this okay so if i try to solve this then first we need to take care of the division right so 16 divided by 8 will be nothing but 2 so 48 into 2 will be 96 so this particular portion we have got 96 okay now let us go inside this particular bracket so a square root of 289 will be nothing but a square root of 289 will be nothing but 17 2 a square will be 4 and minus of 4 and whole to the power a square root is there so 68 minus 4 is 64 to the power 1 by 2 this is nothing but 8 and here division sign was there so we will put it division okay so this is this complete bracket we have got it okay so this particular part we have got it here okay now next division so this particular one we will solve 12 square will be 144 and divided by 8 18 8 ja will be nothing but my dear friends so 18 8 ja will be 144 okay so tables your search and indices a square root and cube root is what is given here then okay after that again we have one more bracket now so friends 243 to the power 1 by 5 okay see if it is 1 if it is 2 we can easily solve it but if it is 5 then it is difficult for us to solve okay see this 5 somehow we need to remove it so this 243 we will try to uh, divide okay we will try to factorize basically so 3 8 ja and 3 1 ja okay then 3 27 times then 3 9 times and then you can see again 3 3 times and again 3 1 times right okay so here i could see this is nothing but 3 to the power 5 okay so 243 is nothing but 3 to the power 5 and 2 to the power 1 by 5. So 3 to the power 5 into 1 by 5. So this will become 3 plus 128. So 128, if you also factorize similarly, then it will be nothing but 2 to the power 7. So this will be nothing but 2 to the power 7 to the power 1 by 7. Okay. So if you factorize in the similar way, so this will become nothing but two okay friends i could have directly written this but i wanted to tell you how basically we do i don't want to snatch the confidence from you i want to build the confidence into you that is what is 
online study for you more now so if we'll divide 96 by 8 it will be 12 okay then divided by okay then here 8 divided by 3 plus 2 will be 5 and 5 minus 1 will be 4 so 12 divided by 8 divided by 4 will be what 2 so 12 by 2 will be 6 so option c friends in tcs digital for one question you will be getting almost three minutes so you will have 15 questions okay you'll have 15 questions and you'll be getting 40 minutes to solve from aptitude okay so 15 questions you will be getting in tcs digital from aptitude and you will be getting almost 40 minutes to solve that means for one question almost three minutes so the time will be sufficient the question level will be also very very easy because i have discussed all the basic here so it might have taken some time okay but this question is not that lengthy okay now so friends if you want me to continue the series of tcs digital previous year coding questions aptitude questions and english question then please do comment because whatever we are doing we are doing for you guys so if you guys are really watching appreciating it comment like and if you are new to our channel please do subscribe and then only we will be able to uh, bring out more and more content for you friends as you know the exam has been planned in the first week of august okay like uh, last year and we have got this information from uh you know the tpos so basically this will happen in premium colleges and we have got this information from training and placement departments of the premium colleges okay now if you are from premium colleges and if you have not got any kind of notification then you can check with your tpo right okay if you are from non-premium colleges friends then the only option with you is so you write the tcs nqt exam which is going to happen in August and November. Okay. And if you become the topper in that, then you will be able to write the TCS digital exam or the other option is code beta. So that is also planned uh, in the month of August, but there is no uh, notification as of now. So friends, we will inform you as soon as we get any kind of information. So please, uh, you know, subscribe our YouTube channel and click all click on uh, bell icon so that you get all the notification okay so whatever is the right information that only we will give it to you so we won't give you some information which is not relevant okay now question number two so what is the average of all natural number between 31 to 50 so natural number means 31 32 33 34 okay and then here till 50 so friends i had seen many students what they did so they told sir this is in arithmetic progression and then they started sir a is equals to 31 even many channels have also done friends and common difference is one and then the last term is nothing but 50 and they started using n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into it is a formulas and all it is very simple not even one line answer okay so i used to tell and even if you'll see the youtube channel uh, average topic i have told multiple times so if we have to calculate average of if we have to calculate average of continuous number if we have to calculate average of continuous number or number having same difference or numbers having same difference okay numbers having same difference then your average will be equal to first number plus last number divided by two that's all so my first number here is 31 and my last number is nothing but 50 divided by two so this will be 81 by two that means 40 into 2 will be 80.5 so 40.5 so this was a fill in the blanks question which was asked in the your tcs digital exam and that question you can see friends how easy this is this will not even take one minute and they have given you three minutes for this question okay so this question also you have to show right that this was asked in tcs digital october 13 you put this question on google google itself will tell you that my dear friends this question was asked on 3rd of october tcs digital examination and this is 3rd of october 2020 okay so do not mistake that it is some three four years back questions no last year only it was asked now question number three so question number three friends also it will hardly take 30 seconds to solve this okay see i am telling you put the question on the google okay do not blame letter okay so see this will give you the confidence that you can also do anyone can do right okay so what is the sum of roots of x from the following equation 
so you have a equation quadratic equation 12 x square minus 23 x plus 5 is equals to 0 they are asking what is the sum of roots of x okay so sum of roots so sum of roots will be nothing but minus b by a your quadratic equation will be always in the form of ax square plus bx plus c will be equal to zero okay so friends last year there were two three questions where quadratic equation was required and the questions were directly asked from quadratic equation so quadratic equation is one of the very important topic if you want me to do the quadratic equation using the tricks that also you please put in the comment so that i will be able to help you out with that okay i will make a video on that okay so minus b so this is a x square plus b x plus c is equals to zero now my b will be nothing but minus 23 okay and divided by a a is nothing but 12. so the sum of roots will be 23 by 12 that means option a will become the correct answer for the question number three okay now friends we have a very good question from you know the question number four from you can say time and work which even needs arithmetic progression to solve it and these questions will take almost three minutes right to solve this so this question i am agree with you so this will take time okay now so let us see one by one this also involves concept so 60 men undertook an assignment to complete it in a certain number of days so suppose 60 men uh undertook to complete this work in x days okay so if i will talk about the total number of men then it will be nothing but 60x see suppose 60 men is there and you are completing the work in 10 days so 60 into 10 will become what 600 right so if you have 600 men they will be able to complete the work in one day okay now and if i will talk about okay the total main then this is nothing but 60x okay fine so but second day onwards two men started to leave the work every day and the assignment took four extra days to complete please try to understand so earlier the total main required was nothing but 60x okay now what happened the first day 60 men worked okay and after that two men started leaving every day so next day 58 see understanding the question is very very important then 56 then 54 and it will be keep going like this and because of that they are taking x plus four days so earlier they were taking x days okay why because 60 men were working right but now every day two two men will start leaving so for today 60 then next day 58 okay earlier 60 60 60 every day so definitely they will be taking now more number of days okay now friends if you see this is nothing but given in uh you know this is nothing but arithmetic progression right the first term is what the first term is 60 okay and then you can see second term is 58 so there is a gap of two so i can say the first term is 60 first term is 60 and then the common difference is minus two so you can see there is a difference of minus two between the numbers okay now if we'll talk about n so the total number of terms that means they are working for x plus four it is so it will become nothing but x plus four okay fine so friends we also know in arithmetic progression sum will be equal to what so sum of n number will be n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d okay now sum is what so sum is nothing but 60x that we are clear okay n total number of terms x plus 4 divided by 2 into 2a so 2 into 60 plus n n will be what friends so n you know right n is what x plus 4 right see whatever i am doing it is in front of you only so x plus 4 minus 1 into it will be minus 2 agreed so n is nothing but x plus 4 minus 1 into minus okay now so if i'll multiply 2 here but 2 you keep so what will be the advantage i will take some other color okay so 2 will divide this 2 i mean if you take 2 common then it will get divided by 2 right so now let my uh video be here okay because this is little lengthy so yes now i will use all the space so 60 x will be equal to x plus 4 okay into here it will become 60 plus 
this will become so this plus will become minus because here we have minus okay 60 minus uh, okay and x plus 3 okay now 60 x will become equal to x plus 4 and here 60 minus x minus 3 so 60 x will be equal to x plus 4 a step by step i am doing so that you will not have any kind of confusion so minus x and 63 if it will get subtracted it will become 57 okay so it will become 57 okay now friends now what we will do so 60 x will be equal to now multiplication so minus x square and 50 plus 57 x minus 4 x and 57 into 4 so 57 into 4 4 7 is 28 and 228 it will become okay then so this will become minus x square okay so you can see we have 57 right x so 57 minus 4 will be what 53x okay so minus x square plus 53x plus 228 will be 60x now 60x we will bring it here so minus x square and this will be minus 7x plus 228 is equals to 0. Now, minus and I will send it that side. So, 7x minus 228 will be equal to 0. If you'll solve this, you will be getting the value of x is equals to 12. Okay. So, x is to x is equals to 12, you will be getting the value. So, when I will do the quadratic equation, I will tell you how you will be getting the value of x is equals to 12. Okay. Now, so let us bring it here. Okay. Now, so what they're asking, so friends, actually, how much time they would have taken? So they would have taken 60 into 12. Okay. So you can say 720. Okay. See 60 men. If suppose if you have 10 men, okay. And working for 10 days. Okay. So efficiency into days will be nothing but work. So basically total work was nothing, but they would have total completed 720 work. They would have completed total 720 work. Okay. So total work is 720. They would have completed 720 work. But now the question is, if the same assignment is given to 30 men, so now 30 men is going to complete this work, okay, with only three by five efficient as previous man. So earlier the previous man efficiency was one, okay, 60 into one. So 60 men, each man efficiency is one, and they took 12 days. So basically, total total 720 was the work. But now their efficiency has been reduced. It has become three by five. So one three by five is nothing but three by five. Now so this will become 324 times 240 okay so 240 into 5 divided by 3 okay so i'm sorry this is 40 times because 1010 will get cancelled and 3 8 ja and 8 into 4 will be 40 so now if the same work 30 men with 3 by 5 efficiency if they will do then they will be completing this work in 40 days. So this was a good question, which involves arithmetic progression, which involves quadratic equation, which involves time and work question. So I will definitely say this is actually a TCS digital question. And friends, we have solved four questions in this. So all level questions has been covered here. Easy, moderate, and difficult. This is how your question paper will come. So if some channels or if somebody is doing only difficult problem, that is only to demotivate you. Okay. This is only to break down your confidence. Okay. So friends, uh, stay with us. We will be doing all the previous year problems of TCS digital so that you get more and more idea. And all these are actual question, exact question. You can also uh, check it on Google. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and click on bell icon. And in fact, our TCS digital courses are also launched. So you can check that course. Definitely things are going to help you so friends thanks a lot for watching the video